So, let us solve the second question, which is the LIFO method. The LIFO. I remember I told us LIFO simply states last in, first out. So, it simply means that the money or the goods that came in last will be sold first. Okay? The quantity that came in last will be sold first. That is just it. Unlike FIFO, we started from the top, from the first entry, until we got to the final entry. Then LIFO, you start with the last entry, which is the last money that came in, then you proceed to the first entry, depending on the nature of the question. So, for the six months ended 30th June 2015, South Study Nigeria provides you with the information below with an opening balance, all right? And I told us that each time we have an opening balance in the question, it goes direct to the balance section. So, 500 units valued at 70 Naira each. We still make use of the same dates, January. Then we have no transactions here. Yeah? So we we'll come over to the balance section. I will have 500 at what 70. And when we multiply these two value, it gives us what 35,000. 35,000 naira. So we are done with that. So we we'll come to January again from the table itself. Now we we'll have 500 at 74. 500 at 74 so when we multiply these two value it gives us what 37,000 under the issues we don't have any transaction okay so coming over to this next place quantity now we say 500 plus 500 so here we have what 1,000 we have no records here then 37,000 plus 35,000 it gives us what 72 thousand okay so we are done with january so we move over to the next date which is february and february says what 700 quantity sold 700 remember i told us these values are irrelevant we don't make use of it okay don't mix it up some questions they won't even write it at all in most questions they will put it there just to confuse the students just to confuse you so show them you've read enough and you can defend and you can treat whatever kind of question you see thank you so, 700 quantity sold. What we do, we write the date, February. Received, we have no transaction. We're coming over to the issues. And how much do we have there? The quantity is what? 700. Okay? Now, let us go back. We are solving what? Last in, first out. Last in, first out. So, which of those transactions came in last? Remember, we have 500 here. We have 500 here. Which one came in last? It is this, right? And can 500 units be subtracted? Can 500 units clean the transaction of the 700 units? No. So what we do, just as what we did in the first example, we collect the 500. So what you actually write here is what? Working 1. So you show your workings again. We have work 1. This is what? 700, right? And we need what? We need 700. And we have 500 as the last entry. So we'll pick 500. So we have what? 500 times 74. Now, when we multiply, we have what? 37,000. Now, you can see we are done. We have exhausted this money. There is nothing, there is no quantity remaining there again. So, we'll now move over to the next transaction. We started with this because it was the last entry we had. When we solved FIFO, remember, we started with this because it was the first entry. First in, first out. Here we are solving LIFO, last in, first out. So this is the transaction that came in last. So we'll pick it first. That is why it is called last in, first out. It came in last and we are collecting it first, all right? So 574, we still need what, 200 units. Then we'll come over to this place. When we subtract 200, here we'll be left with what, 300. So we'll have a remainder of 300 there, right? So 200. Now we'll now make use of the unit price, which is what? 70. So 200 times 70, it gives us what? 14,000. Now we add up these two values and it gives us what? 51,000. Now when we add these two again, we have what? 700. Just like what the question specify and also as what we have here. So this is 700 working one and we have what? 51,000. Remember I told us, if the issues, the transactions are coming over to the balance section, we subtract. If it is from the received, 
we add it up, okay? So, 1,000 minus 700, we have 300. We have nothing here. 72,000 minus 51,000, it gives us what? 21,000. And we are done with this, okay? So, move over to the next date. We are done with February. We'll come back to March. To March, and it is received. We don't have issues with this. We have issue with the issues, okay? So, let's proceed. For March, we have what? 450, and we have 77. So, we multiply these two values, and it gives us what? 34,650. 34,650. Under the issues, there is no transaction, okay? So, 300 plus 400 gives us 750. Nothing here. 36, 34,650 plus 21,000 gives us what? 55,650. Okay? So, that is it for March. We'll come over to April. For April, we have what? 500 at 110. Remember, it is not relevant. So, 500 units. Now, what do we do? 500 will now come over. We'll record again for April. For April. We have no transaction yet because it has to do with the issues. So, we have 500. Alright? Now, let us come back again. What is the last entry? Which value are we going to make use of? Is it this value or this value? So, I know you're getting confused there. What you actually do is this. Stick to the plan. Stick to the formula which says last in, first out. So, which transaction came in last? Irrespective of the fact we still have a balance here, you go to the last transaction again, which is what? 450. So, this is the transaction that came last, all right? And this is 500. So, you can see we still need 50 units. So, what you do, you write what? Working two. Then you show your workings again. Working two. So, we'll pick the 450. So, once we take this value, we have nothing left, all right? So, we have 450 times 77. And it is equal to what? 34,650. So, we still need 50 units. We still need 50 units. So, we'll come over to this remainder. This three, you know, we've made use of this. There is nothing left here. But we still have some value here, which is what? 300. So, when we subtract 50 from here, we'll be left with what? 250 units. So, we we'll pick that 50 units we collected and we we'll multiply it with this unit price, which is 70. So, 50 times 70, it gives us what? 3,500. 3,500. Now, when we add these two values, it gives us what? 38,150. These two gives us what? 500. You can see 500 and you can see we are on track. So, what is the final total here? 38,150. Now, remember the law. We we'll subtract. So, 750 minus 500 gives us 250. Then, 55,650 minus 38,150 gives us 17,500. Then, we are done with April. So, we we'll proceed to May. We we'll have May. And May is 750 at 79. So when we multiply these two values, what they will have, it gives us 59,250. So under the issues, we have no transaction. So 250 plus 750 is 1,000. Then 59,250 plus 17,500 is 76,750. 76,750. And that is it. So we'll come over to the last one, which is June. For June, we have what? 800. So let us take a look at it again. 800. Okay. So 800. Now, where do we make use of? This 250 or the 750? You can see we have a last entry, which is 750. So pick the 750 again, which will be working three. So we have working three. We have 750 times 79. Okay? And this is equal to what? 59,250. So we still need 50 to make this 800. So we'll come over to this transaction and we'll pick 50. When we we'll pick this 50 units from here, we'll be left with what? 
200 units. Okay? So, we have 50 times the same 70 again, which gives us what? 3,500. Now, this two value gives us what? 800, as you can see here. We add up these two values, and it gives us 62,750. 62,750. So, we'll bring this particular value to this section. 62,750. So, 1,000 minus 800 is 200. Then, 76,750 minus 62,750 gives us what? 14,000. Okay? Remember what I told us in the previous video. What is the final balance we have here? So, we just need to confirm if we are right or wrong. Now, what is the final unit balance we have? Remember, we've exhausted this. There is nothing left. So, let us go back to our first entry. The balance is what? 200, isn't it? So, 200 units times 70 is still equal to 14,000. So, we are on track. So, take good note of this. Take good note of the steps. All right? So let us solve the last question here we've done with LIFO. And the last question is under the weighted average. The weighted average. Now, unlike the FIFO and LIFO, under the weighted average, we are going to make use of our unit prices here. And under the unit, under the LIFO, sorry, the weighted average as well, we'll also consider this value. We'll work particularly on the balance section, all right? We'll just record the transactions and we should do the major workings here, okay? So, in the next video, you will learn the tips and tricks on how to solve questions under the weighted average. I hope you enjoyed this video. We have a lot of questions on our website. Visit our website, click on the past questions, and you see a lot of questions that will guide you to help you prepare for your exams and for your tests. Thanks for being a loyal subscriber. I hope you subscribe really to our YouTube channel. We wish you the best. Good luck.